Geeta Natkarni, and I am the founder of Impact with Influence. Many of you know me as a longtime journalist. I've been a journalist since I was 12 years old, and I'm 38 as of this recording. <laughs> and I have spent, I have spent a good chunk of the last four and a half years teaching entrepreneurs how to get massive amounts of PR, grow their credibility and get out to the people that they most want to reach. And recently we launched Impact with Influence and this helps take you to that next level. This is where we help you design your own high ticket offer. Um, learn how to sell it effectively and then amplify your reach by hacking into audiences that somebody else has paid to build and nurture. And joining me today is Stephen Kuhn, who is an absolute superstar. And when I say superstar, he's been the bodyguard to Mick Jagger and he's worked with Olivia Newton-John and he's going to drop names like nobody's business. Uh, he's been all over the planet. He's an American war veteran and he has the craziest stories that you could possibly imagine. He is in fact one of the world's leading experts in turning around or starting up companies. So if your company is either just about to launch and you have no idea how to take it to that multi-million level or you've got this amazing idea and this amazing company, but it's floundering and you don't know what to do to turn it around. He's the guy to call. So, Stephen, welcome. Hey, well, thank you. I don't. I think I should maybe be quiet for a while. Let that sink in. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for having me, Gita. Of course. So, tell us a little bit about how you serve your clients, Stephen. Yeah, well, you know, I, I have a quite unique um, um, sort of background, also uh, client base. So my client base from politicians, party leaders, world leaders, um, and musicians, rock stars, uh, business uh, leaders, and they all have one thing in common. They, they're stuck. In, they're stuck with one thing, and that's typically something that's diverting them or di or distracting them from actually doing what they do best. So I go in and find exactly what that is. We deal with that with immediate impact. Uh, and then we get their sort of lift their head up a little bit so they can look around, take a breath, and then we can work on the real problems and work on scaling and growth. So we look for that one thing with immediate impact to relieve the pressure. Which is awesome. So what I want to know, so Stephen, let, let's, let's talk about how you and I met. So something was going on in your world. You had been an offline consultant, very, very successful for multiple years. And then you had little babies. This happens to the best of us, right? And then everything just went up in the right. air, and things shifted for you. So what happened? Well, I was, like, like you said, I was traveling four days a week for 20 years. And I was in 10 countries every month. And I just, I, it was, I was my own company. Um, I had my own consultant company, you know, doing really well. And like I said, working with amazing people and, and politicians and things. And I came home one day and my three-year-old and my two-year-old suddenly were three and two when they were just born yesterday. And I said, I'm, I told my wife, I said, I'm done. I'm not traveling anymore. I'm staying home with you guys. And she said, well, what are you going to do? I said, I have no idea. <laughs> and that was, uh, that was eight months ago, actually right now, eight months ago. Wow. And, and I decided, okay, well, what do I do best? And I turn around best. I, I go in and I find crisis situations and make them, make everybody happy. So I said, let me do that online. Um, and, and I joined a few tribes and I started my own tribe. And I grew that business to six figures in about four months, um, which isn't difficult with what I do because I take you know equity and that kind of stuff. So it wasn't that difficult. Um, but I want to scale it online, but I, I had no idea how to do anything online. So I was literally going to these places and saying, saying hey, guys, uh, in these tribes, saying, hey, guys, I'm a consultant. You need something. Give me a holler. That only works so long and so, so far until people are saying, hey, is that all you do is sell? So you got to be careful with that. And I was stuck. I was literally stuck. I didn't know what to do. And I had signed up for your newsletter, uh, Baby Got Booked, yeah, yeah. Um, for, um, I don't know, like a year ago or something or whatever it was. And I hadn't heard anything for a while. And suddenly there's, uh, you know, you're, you're hard to miss. And then suddenly, boom, you know, there's, there's a message from you. And it was like, holy, like you, you spoke to me, you know, you spoke to that message was right on target. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm calling her. And that's how. You know, that's how I landed. We ended up on a call. Yep. And so when we got on that call, it was interesting because I, you, you know, I get you to fill out a form just to make sure that I can serve you to the best of my ability. It also allows me to do research because, you know, once a journalist, always yeah. a journalist. So I like doing my research. I like being prepared. Right. And that's how my team shows up as well. So I had done my research on you. I was kind of checking you out. And I was like, huh, interesting. I get on a call with you and I asked you a few questions. Yeah. And do you remember what you said? <laughs> do you remember what you said to me? You said, no. I need to grow. So I had written one of the questions that I had on the, on the form was, you know, what's your biggest obstacle 
Right. What, what is the biggest obstacle that you perceive to your success? And you had written there, I need to grow my online presence. Right. Right? Right. And, <laughs> <laughs> right. And so I was like, oh, okay, tell me about that. Tell me about what your online presence looks like now. And what did you say? Yeah, I'm, I'm like everyone, Google me, I'm like everywhere. Yeah, right. exactly. sort of. And yeah, so and I was like, well, that's not what I meant. I meant my online sales presence, I guess I was talking about ah. more than just well, my presence. Because, yeah, I am. But I'm all over the place. It's like a shotgun, you know, everywhere. Right. So, the, and so yeah. one of the, Right. And one of the things that we realized was that you were many, many different things to many people. Yeah. But yeah. you had a massive following. You had a massive tribe. And so you had sort of come on or in your mind, I think the way that and, and this happens to so many people. I hear this all the time when I get on Epiphany sessions is people have a familiar problem. It's a problem that they're used to fixing, right? It's like, this is a problem that like, I don't know how many ever months ago or years ago, you decided if I fix this one problem, everything is going to take off. And then you get so mired in the fixing of the problem. Yep. And you keep Especially, thinking, well, I'll get to like, it's when I hit X number or X metric yeah. on this problem. <laughs> yeah, it sounds so familiar. And it's, it's cause that's, you know, that's what I do. I'm a fixer. So, you know, uh, but it's strange that you can't fix yourself. I don't know anybody who can fix themselves, honestly, so true. With, without an outside help. So true. So, and, all I uh, did... yeah, I, you know, when we had that call and I remember you called me, you called me out on a bunch of stuff too. So you weren't goofing off. <laughs> <laughs> I remember at one point you were just like, wow, no one ever talks to me like this. I did say that. I remember you I did like, say wow. that or, yeah, yeah. more than once actually. And it wasn't, it wasn't cause I wasn't because I was rude. I just want to be clear about this. No, 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 no. You challenged me where no one challenges me usually. You know, it's like, uh, you know, even those politicians, the people that were there, don't challenge me. Not in a million years. And here's Gita, my first call with her, challenging me like, well, Stephen, that's bullshit. You know? <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're right. It is bullshit. <laughs> well, <laughs> <You know>? what, <laughs> my, my purpose with an epiphany call is really to ask you deep questions yeah, and then do. to listen to what you tell me. So I take notes. I always write down and I, I make sure that I'm following along. But I listen for what you tell me. I listen for what you leave out. And I listen for what maybe you haven't told, what you're not telling me for sure, but maybe some stuff that you haven't even realized yourself. And that's so, basically what happened with us. Is that I was that's like, exactly wait, what happened. That's exactly what happened, yeah. Right? And I was like, yeah. if you go and grow your online presence, you are basically going to multiply the exact issue that has kept, that is keeping you stuck in this moment. Yep. yep. And you were like, oh, shit, now what? Yeah, yeah <laughs> right? now what? Exactly, now what? Exactly. Well, now what happened to the day later, right? So, so, do you want to go ahead? Tell the rest of the yeah. story. So a day later, I had I had my big uh, interview on Entrepreneur on Fire with John Dumas, which is the number one entrepreneur podcast in America with I don't know like fifteen million listeners, which airs uh, on the eighteenth, by the way, uh, of June. And um, uh, I was like, Gita, panic! What do I do? Uh, mm, uh, you know, and, and and we got on the call real quick, which is outside of the session, I know, uh, but you helped me there, and we we did. I don't know, like a 45 minute scripting call for the, for the podcast. Yep. And after the, after I had the podcast, John Dumas said, man, that was like the best interview I ever had. And I'm not kidding. You know, and he and does one felt, every single day and has done yep. for what, five, six years now. Yep. 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 And, and, and I was like, wow, that's amazing. And then the big hit, um, right the day after that, because, because I sort of got my message down through that scripting. And then I went through the first course and we had, uh, I think a Q and a, talking about you know, the epiphany call and I sort of skipped forward and I got the, uh, the epiphany call and I closed my first deal for 16 K on the second day. So okay, I was like, but yeah, let's, program, let's yeah. rewind a little bit because you okay. got on a call with me and at some point, and I don't, I don't make an offer to everybody. So not everybody's right. the right fit. In fact, the whole purpose of epiphany calls is for me to help you get crystal clarity about where you're stuck, where you want to go and what the right. right steps are to get you there. Now, Five times, if, if there are out of every five people, maybe three people are not the right fit for us. I don't know how to help you. The the path that you've chosen for yourself, which you will now be clearer on, is not a yeah. path that I'm an expert on. So I won't, right. you know, I'll refer you to somebody if I know someone who's the right fit for you. Right. But for the two people who I'm like, oh my God, I have exactly the, the map that you need. I have the support that you need. I have right. all of the pieces. I can lay them out and I can get you to where you want to get like that. Then... I will offer you, and then I ask you a bunch of questions to make sure that you're the right fit, obviously, for the program. Right. And that's what we did. And I did make you an offer. Yep. What was that like? 
We haven't um, discussed this before, so I'm super curious to know what that. Yeah, like. well, it, well, it was it was tough for me. Um, you know, I don't ever make a decision right on the spot. It's just something I do. Like everyone says that I know as a ex sales guy, I know I hate it when someone I don't make a decision on the spot. You know, and that's more out of fear than it is out of what you think it is. Like I always thought, well, I'm being you know I'm being cautious, and this is what businessmen do. Actually, no, it was fear. You know, your fear of jumping in with all with both feet. And and um, what made me do it was you said I need a deposit, right? to gauge your commitment because you said people who take action immediately have the greater greater chance of success and those who wait have less i i know the whole script now because i i know it because i learned <laughs> you know because i learned it now and it works like a charm i i gotta tell you and um um it actually creates emotions in the person where they understand yeah you know you're right you're right i i do need to take action and i do need to make it happen so i i i did it and it was uncomfortable and you proved my point i just want to point yeah. out day two you made sixteen thousand dollars and that you haven't amazing. stopped. Nope. <laughs> I'm up to 45k after four weeks. Four weeks. Yeah. 49, 49, 49k 49 after That's four true. weeks. I got, and I just closed. What? Did, what was it? Six, three k a month today for so, so, uh, sixteen. Uh, no, twelve k today. I closed. Right, and that's uh, not, that's not even in the forty nine. So. No, that's not in the 49. And then tomorrow I have seven appointments. I'll close two of those, and that'll put me at 100k. I'm pretty sure 90 or 100k right there after four weeks, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Killed it. It's true. The people who it's finally. True. It's true. And, and I have to tell you this. Once you get that epiphany call down, and I, I call my epiphany call um, your 15 minutes of fame. Because what I found out is that it pulls something out of people where they look at themselves and go, I never saw myself like that before. There's that one question. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I mean, you know what it is. I'm going to tell the listeners what it is. That one question that you ask that is so sort of backwards, almost everyone who gets to that point has tears in their eyes. And you know, I'm going to help this person for real. And this is like real growth. This isn't some sales trick or exactly. something. This is real growth. They wake up and they go, holy wow. I never thought of that that way. I never saw me that way. Thank you. I mean, even even if they don't close, which hasn't happened yet, if I'm honest. But even if they don't close, they're like, you know, wow. I, just, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I'm just so thankful. And that's that's. It's real. It's not a sales call. And that's, that's the coolest thing about it. And that's why I love the program because I don't, now that I know the script, I do it in person, even. I do the epiphany discussion, I guess you could call it. It's, You're 15 minutes of fame in person. Once it's you know amazing. That it's like riding a yeah. bicycle. You can't stop. Yeah. yeah. You can't stop. And, and I use it for my, I use it as a now, also not for my program, but for my, my coaching clients as well as a lead in. And I, I just had one tonight and the guy's like, wow, man, this is, this, I never, because he said, I'm looking for coaches. You're, you're like my 16th coach. I was like, oh, here we go. And I, I just did the epiphany call, for the, the 15 minutes of fame. And he was like, man, oh, man, that's amazing. Wow, can we work together? Can we work together? I'm like, I'll think about it. You know? So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, and if there's one takeaway that I have, it's that. It's the call. That alone, literally, I haven't really learned much else. Like, I haven't put the woofoosh things together, and I haven't put the webinar together or nothing. Because I don't have time because I'm closing so many freaking deals. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> Good problem to have. Good problem to have. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And and it's not. I'm not. A, I'm not a genius. I'm not super. You know. Uh, uh, you know. Articulate, as you probably noticed. Uh, it's just I give a damn about people that I work with, and I want to make a difference in their lives. And I could never do it without sounding like somebody that was like a sort of a I don't know wishy washy. Uh, even though you wouldn't admit, you wouldn't think that of me. But when when you talk to someone's emotions, it's, you need a structure. Or you're just going to be all over the place. Like you need to guide them. With their emotions, and that's what you taught me, and I was been forever grateful. You're, I'm your biggest fan. Aw, thank you. Um, and you it's... know, I talk about you to everybody on every podcast I'm on. You gotta go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. Gotta go. To... Yeah. <laughs> and and that's what I. Th this is the thing that that most excites me about the work that we do is that first of all, the call itself, the sales call, or you know, like I don't even think of it as a sales call because it's a clarity call. That's what it is. It's an epiphany yeah. call. It's called that for a reason. You have your epiphany. Then maybe you're the right fit. You're not the right fit. You yeah. want to jump in. You don't. That decision is yours. That's the piece that you must own. I can coach you. I can hold a space for you. I can invite you in. I can show you the path. I will walk with you. I will hack down those bushes right next to you. But the decision yep. to want what you truly want, do not want what somebody else has prescribed for you. Do not build your business around some other guru's deal because, and I see this all the time. Again, it's like most people are not yeah. 
marketers, right? Like we're not marketers and we don't get off on the marketing aspect of things. And yet we take all our advice from marketers, marketers. the people who structure their businesses in such a way that they spend 80% of their time marketing because that's what they're freaking amazing at. That's their zone and, of genius. And that's actually, you know, I, I talked about that today uh, with a, a, a possible client in uh, just talking in Alberta, Canada, right before this. And um, I said, look, all because he's a, he's an online marketer, uh, but a huge agency. And I said, look, I'm not. I don't know even how to tell you if I'm just talking to you how to be different. He he wants me to coach him, but I, I want him to do my marketing. And I said, but I'm not. I'm not an online coach, and I'm not an online consultant. I'm an offline consultant who's working online, and I need that. I need that to come across. And that's why I love the epiphany calls. Because I tell you this, when I post my my, um, I don't have ads because I don't do any marketing. I don't spend any on marketing, by the way. This is all from different traps that I'm in. I write thousand, by the way. Yeah, so just for, a few. In four weeks. 49, sorry, you said. I keep forgetting. You keep making yeah, more money 49. every time I talk to you. Not, so. including, not including today. So it's right. 50, 50, uh, 61 today, as including today. So uh, 61K. Nice. And tomorrow, hopefully 100. So um, uh, what I say is, um, I say, you know, I think, quit goofing off. This is your time. I mean, you know, fate is calling you. I have answers that you will never find. Basically, something like that. But at the end, I say, um, give me 15 minutes for your, your call of fame. Right for your your 15 minutes of fame, and if you if you don't think after that 15 minutes that I'm your man, you can tell me to saw it off and no hard feelings. And people are like, holy shit, he's, he's sure of himself, and I'm sure of myself because it's not a sales call. Exactly, it's not a sales call. No, they're going to be slammed. They're going to be like, they're like, they're like, wow, Stephen, wow, this is amazing. Wow, I really want to work with you. And it's because of that. I was like, it transformed my business, like completely right? transformed my And bus- you don't have to feel sleazy. You don't have to feel slimy. You're not pushing anybody. I, the last thing in the world I want to do are, for our own business, and this is why I don't teach you guys this either, I do not want to convince anybody. If I'm no. convincing you, it ain't never going to work. Well, and the engine, the, the energy is also different. If you're trying to convince me, I feel it. And I'm like, ah, eh, it doesn't yeah, feel exactly. genuine. And I'm like, look, I'm like, look, you know that I just dug deep inside of you. It's up to you what you want to do now. But you know what that feels like now, and you'll never get it out of your system ever unless you work with me. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's, it's true. And it's then exactly it works. True. And the thing it's like is, a when fire. You... it's like you light you light a fire, and then they're not going to walk away. They're not going to walk away. It's well, burning. It's started. Yeah, exactly. And case in point, right? When you start from that place, and this is something that I really want to stress, the way that you and I started, this is the perfect example, right? The way that you and I started, the coaching begins from that very second. The second we say hello. It's like, okay, here we are. We get to work. We don't waste time. We don't bullshit. I don't tell you my life story. None of that is important. The whole focus was on you. The whole focus is on whoever I'm speaking to in the same. And you're paying this forward by doing this with your clients. We get you to a point of just deep clarity of allowing finally all the buried, pent up, emotions, stories, shame, we release all of it. It's like, okay, yep. it's all on the table. Now you can relax. You can sort well, through this and you can throw out the crap that doesn't serve you. Right, and, and, and it's funny because you have David, the mindset coach in there, right? And I'm thinking, yes. oh, what, is the, what is this goofy stuff, right? <laughs> and uh, the first time I fell asleep, second, I mean, in the live session, I fell asleep while he was yeah, live was... with me, you know, like, and he goes, did you fall asleep? I was like, yeah, because I slammed my head against the, re- the radiator. And, uh, and then after that, the recorded sessions you have in the course, um, I did, you know, I, I was like, okay, maybe it's working, maybe it's not. But then when, like after the third time, I saw a transfer of my mindset because um, I have like a mindset like, you know, uh, oh, I did 90K. Damn, I should have done 100K. Like I'm never happy, right? And I saw a transfer of that uh, the last couple days after the fourth, I guess, mindset session with David, um, that now that mindset that I have of abundance is is transferring to my clients when I do the epiphany call. And they're just like exploding with this. They're like, Steve, I don't even, like the guy wrote, my, I have, a, I have a, a, a client today. I signed him up. That was the first guy I signed up. The second guy I signed up. And uh, for, what, 15K, I think, paid up front. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so that's always nice. And um, he said today, he said, you know, um, you you changed my life. I I want to. I feel like a better man. I've never. I haven't been this excited in about two, or one and a half, two years. Um, and I want to be like you with your mindset. And you've taught me that. And I was like, wow, you know, wow. And that doesn't just come from me fixing his business. That comes from me triggering something inside of him, woke him up, and has him has him realizing how much potential he really has and what lies ahead of him. 
And that came from, honestly, that comes from your course. That comes from the epiphany call. I have to put a lot on the epiphany call. And it comes from the course as well. And it comes from that mindset. It was subliminal. It literally is subliminal. Because I didn't realize 100%. it until I'm thinking, okay, wait, something's different, man. You know, and I'm thinking, <laughs> holy shit. And I went back and I did the mindset calls. I'm like, damn bastard program me awesome it's you know it's true. like uh, yeah it's i know true. it's like okay. damn, you and, did and, it you know? thank you for bringing that up thank you for bringing yeah. that up and that's something that sets us apart from everybody yeah. else out there is that we have a trained hypnotherapist on the team we have a trained yeah. hypnotherapist and mindset coach the very first piece that we work on is your clarity because we work with when we work with a client it's like i could give you all the strategies in the world i could give you a media list of you know four thousand journalists I can give you the template that, that, you know, Jess used to win his Guinness World Record and coach you through it. And if it works for you, it might work in, initially, it won't work sustainably. Because deep down, there's a story that's blocking you from, it's a filter that you're using that is preventing you from seeing what might actually be just right in front of you. Right? Uh, but that, but that's everybody, isn't it? Like, that's everybody. Every, every, it, exactly. even look, I'm, I'm, I'm considered successful. You know, I earn in the top, you know, five percent in europe and uh i you know i i wasn't you know what i mean i wasn't when i when i met you i realized holy shit how much room i have to be so much better at much more of an ease than i was before yes. you know that's that the whole part struggle. about it yeah i feel like whew, man it's, it's funny because i'm on the call tonight with these guys i'm like yeah you know this is how much it is and da, da, da. after we went through the they're like you know, oh, okay, I'll get you the money tomorrow. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll transfer PayPal tonight and then the rest tomorrow. And they're just like, please, please. And it's, like I said, it feels so gratifying because I'm like, I'm coming from a place like it's not selling. Not even close. No. Yeah, it's awesome. Because, because the only kind of selling is service. The real selling is service. It's like if I can serve you and I can shift you, then yeah. your sense of possibility has expanded. And then... And then it's really like, okay, wow, finally this dream, this amorphous dream that you weren't even 100% clear on because most people are not. Let me just assure you right now. Most people have no clue what they actually deep down want. Yep. And they start doing their messaging and their marketing outward facing. Everything is outward facing, right? And I'm like, well, I, how do I find the words to tell the world who you are and what you do and how you serve and how you show up if you aren't crystal clear at the core of your being yep. what that is i'm clear here's my purpose my purpose yep. is to use your company to grow you simple as that yep, yep. And, and, it's, that. and it's and it's not the, the company is you you know the company is you and, and most people forget that they go oh no I, i'm not i don't want to be the front man well you own it you're the entrepreneur it's your business you better be the front man that's it's, what it's all about but anyway yeah. it's a projection of your consciousness so yeah. if i can help yeah. you expand your consciousness and i can create more flow in that space then you already have the wisdom. You were given everything that you need to be on your way. I just need to take all the obstacles out of your way and help you see that flow so that you can pick yeah. the, the, the easy route, which happens to be the right route. Yeah. And, and the most powerful. Yeah. 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 So, so it wasn't an easy, and I just want to make sure that people understand that when you decided to sign up with me, it wasn't an easy decision. No, it wasn't. Look, it wasn't because I've never, ever signed up online at all with a coach or a program or anything. If I did it, it was always in person or it was, you know, one off or something. And I just, I just, I felt so good about how you talked to me and how you handled me, <laughs> I guess you could say, <laughs> um, that I felt it was right. And I haven't been wrong since. I mean, we were like, you know, brother and sister almost. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, yeah. crazy. Like we, 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 we share wins and I'm writing you for my vacation and showing you the people that you know that happen to be there on an island in the middle of Croatia that happens in Okita. Go figure. Um, you know, so yeah, it was, it's, it's, it's been a joy. Honest to God, it's been a real joy. I'm thankful that I met you. Thank you. This is, this is, this is, this is why I do what I do. Yeah. This is why I do what I do. Every, yeah. every, every morning I wake up and I sit in meditation and these are all the things that I teach because I make all you guys do the same stuff. One of the things that I do at the very end when I'm ending my meditation is I say, okay, universe, send me a sign to show me that I am on purpose. And every single day, even yep. on weekends, <laughs> one of you guys, no, but seriously, I don't work on weekends. So that's why I say that. I still meditate on weekends. I just don't work on weekends. Yep. One of you guys will send me something. And yes, more often than not, it's some kind of financial win, but not always. Sometimes it's like yeah. the humongous shift it's like a shift in a marriage it's a shift in a relationship it's a shift in a place of ease have you have have you had any of those something that's outside of just just work or just business oh like i said it's not even 
business as also I say the business and the sales are a result of the shifts. So yes. it's not it's it's a whole it's a whole life shift. It's not it's not me working on the business and then shifting outside. It's what you're teaching and what you're sort of the mindset and all those other programs you're going. It's always from coming from within, like you said. It's not to the outside. It's within, and that makes me shift everything. It's more conscious. Um, I, I do my magic mornings anyway, but now I do them a little differently since I met you. Um, and I, I look at my family differently. I look at my providership differently. For me, providership is true leadership, um, and that sort of it's congruent now because it, I always separated, you know, sort of mm-hmm. uh, my life and. You know, I call it our life enterprise, but yet still, I would try to keep that out of the house, or you know, try to keep it separate and stuff. And now it's sort of a, it's a, it's it's all one because they're part of me. You know, it's like the part of the reason that I do most of the reason what I do is for my two young kids and my wife, and they should take part in the joy that I have in doing it. And this is sort of also part of the whole shift that I got with with David in your in your program. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. And, I, and I'm not a, I'm not a esoteric crystal wearing kind of guy, if you know what I mean. So I was very <laughs> I was very skeptical resistant, at the beginning. Resistant, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was resistant. I'm like, oh, yeah, right, whatever, buddy. You know, and, uh, but yeah, it's, it's amazing. And sp- especially because I surrendered, I think. I just said, all right. Yes. You know, I just pff, do it, you know, see what happens. And, and wow, you know. And my, my wife notices the difference. My kids are, are like, they like come up on the computer now and they're looking, hey, what are you doing? And, they, you know, you're always happy and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, huge difference. And that, difference. that to me is the most important part because yeah. you know, we've had, we've had a rash of celebrity suicides lately, the Kate Spades, the Anthony Bourdain's of the world. And, what this has really confirmed for me, something I kind of always knew, but that hadn't really articulated clearly for me, is that you can have all the money in the universe. Forget money. You can have all the significance in the universe. I mean, how many people loved these two individuals? Robin Williams, great example, right? Loved them, followed them. They, you yeah. know, like they're getting confirmation of their worth on a daily basis, but there is something between them and yeah. that confirmation that that doesn't allow them to experience the joy of it, the fulfillment of it. And so many entrepreneurs build their businesses from a place yep. of lack, from a place of, of, of not being good enough and not feeling enough, good enough and being ashamed. Yep. And it's- chasing the money, chasing the money, you know, making it all about the money and that kind of stuff. I always say a life enterprise is full of a bunch of like, we, our life enterprise is like a brick wall and the money is the mortar. Yeah. Some 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 people have thin mortar, you know, like in your bathroom, you have little mortars and they're caulking, yeah. and then you have the, some people have the big mortar. They need big mortars, stuff like that. So um, it's all part of the flow, like you said. Money is a part of the flow, and then I think because we don't focus on money in the program, do we? Like not not like not at all. I mean, I, I now that I think it about it, it just comes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought about it. We don't really focus on the money at all. That's weird. Yeah, but anyway, I guess that was me. We focus so, on we focus on service. We focus on right. creating transformation. And the money comes as a result of that because when people are, it's exactly as you say, when people are like, hey, I want to talk to you. And then they talk to you and they have this massive shift in that conversation and they're like, oh my God, you did this to me in what, 45 minutes, 60 minutes? I want more of this. This is what I've been looking for. Then they sign up, the money is yours. Like that energy has shifted. Right. And I think that's the most important part of the whole program is I can go into these calls not only confident, but. Uh, exuberant because I know I'm going to help them. I know I can. I think I, 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 I wrote that yesterday in my, in my ad, whatever you want to call it. Um, 20 years of experience in 10 countries and over 20 industries. I know I have a solution for you. You just need to step up, you know? And it's like, I just know it because of what I know now. You, what did you say today? You said you always have the right answer. You just got to let you it do. go. You do. Exactly. Every yeah. single person that I've yeah. ever worked with, yeah. you are all smarter than me in what you do. All of you, by far, you know your thing better than I ever could. But what I'm able to see that you're often not is there's all the stuff that's around it. So sometimes it's, it's, here's a great thought example. This is, this is what I see all the time. It's like, look around your space, wherever you're sitting right now, whatever you're doing right now, just look around your space and look for all the red things in your space. Just look around all the red things, count how many red things there are, right? Counting, counting, look around your red space, look around your space and look for all the red stuff. Okay, now come and look right back at the screen, look at me, and tell me how many blue things that, that were there. No clue. Exactly. Right no. in front of you. No. Right in front of you, you can't see them. That's like police officer training. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yeah. yeah. Works for business too. Yep. Works for business too. Yeah. What, so it, yeah. then that that and it's just I I can't stress that enough. I think if I because I we haven't talked about this before, so I've never really done this overview. But if I look back at everything, I think the most important thing is I when I 
it's just I'm like smirking when I'm talking when I'm saying when I'm making appointments like I got this man this is awesome because it's in my head I already have the quick win where they're gonna get the revenue how they're gonna feel the mindset I mean this guy in Texas who's who who's doing the construction company that I told you about who wrote me how proud he was he's got so many ideas now I can't even keep up like I was like Steve I don't know what you did this is amazing blah, blah, blah. and then, like I said it's not because I'm a special kind of person is because I triggered something in him. I, I lit a flame and I'm making it happen. And, 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 you know, a lot of consultants, when they're told by their client, Hey, I have a problem, you know, can you fix it? You go in and you go, all right, I'll fix it. But that's not even a problem. Like you said, that's not even a problem. And you don't know that unless you have that way of speaking to them and asking those questions it's called epiphany call. Exactly. And too many people build businesses fixing yeah. the problems that their clients say they have, which may not be the right problems at all, which is why Without this process to screen your client and make sure that you show up in service, it won't work. It won't be sustainable. You will always be stuck in hustle and launch yep. mode. And let me tell you about something else. That the the massive thing about it is referrals. You know, they're telling oh God, yeah. they're telling. Well, I'm telling everybody about you, right? I'm even, I think I've sent you three people already. Um, uh, you know, uh, I think that's the most important thing. It's you only have to ask for referrals. Whereas typically, you say, "Hey, uh, do you have anybody in your area that would also benefit from this service?" You don't have to ask. Like, I can, can I have two friends? Can I tell them about you? Mm, I think I got some room. Yeah, go ahead. You know, <laughs> but of course you can. You know, so yeah, that's 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 a huge part for me too because the ease that and the ease with which I do my business now. Um, the mindset part, like you said, like I just want to touch on that. So the one thing is this. My mindset going into a call is like I got this because I know I, I, every answer I give is the right answer. Number two is um, when I'm in the consulting week after week after week, I'm not worried about it either because I know I build on that and I always have the correct answer. And that's all mindset. It's, it's all mindset. mindset. 85% because of success is mindset. You know, and you, Nobody and, and David, believes me when I tell them this. It's true. It's true. And I'm a guy that pushed it for years. And I mean, I pushed it, the logic, and I pushed the, the application, and I put, and the Is mindset I was always working on separately. Like, I'm a hero. I can make it. I'm super, okay, go back to work. You know, it was never that, no, it's all one, knucklehead. It's all one. You got to do it together, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm military. We always do that. You know, like, we, we, we segment and compartmentalize. And yeah, I mean, I, I, I I sort of, it's sort of weird because I'm 51 years old. I'm just learning this. Like, damn, where, where, was, where, where were you 20 years ago? And then I thought, okay, you were like 11. <laughs> so maybe not. <laughs> I don't no. think I had this all figured so, out by, at that point. No, but exactly. So pro probably. Better late than never. And you know what? Now, now you Morning. get to enjoy the flow. Now you get to enjoy the abundance. You get to enjoy being on purpose. You get to enjoy literally doing every single minute of your day now. That's None awesome. of it is spent doing the crap that, like, when you and I talked four weeks ago, you were like, I hate this. This yeah, is so much work. And now look at you now. No, four no. weeks ago. Yeah, no, it's crazy. And, and four weeks ago and 69,000 richer. Yeah. And you're $69,000 yeah. richer. That's true. Uh, just That'd a side thing. Just a side thing there in just four weeks. <laughs> this is I, my, awesome. my, I told you my commitment was 100K of this program, right? Remember that? You said that. And you know what I said to you at the very beginning? So I, I don't sign people up. I don't look for more clients. I don't want no clients. I want success stories. And if you come in, so that's my invitation to you on a call. If, if we decide after talking together that I have the goods and that you want them and that you want your outcome and I'm the right guy to help you get there, then the invitation is, are you prepared to be my next success story? Because that's a very different deal than are you going to be my client? You being yeah. my client is you giving me money and then who knows what happens next. You being my success story means I got you on speed dial. Yeah, 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 that yeah. means if you disappear on me, you're going to hear from me. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. It's funny because um, I use that at the end of my uh, – whenever I post something, it's like anyone who wants to work with me has to agree to go public with their testimonial. Mm -hmm. That makes people think, oh, he's serious. Like he's only exactly going to take right. winners. Only going to take winners. Exactly right. Exactly right. And that's why, like you said, the referrals take care. Of, like, I don't ask for referrals, but you guys send them to me anyhow. Yep. Which yep. I love. Thank you, by the way. I'm so grateful. Yeah. Thank you. High-end one today, right? That high-end one today. That seems oh, to be awesome. It's, it's, 
Yeah. I got two yesterday too. It's amazing. So anyway, all this to say, <laughs> thank you, Stephen, for, for sharing your journey. It's thank you. so helpful. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, do you have any last words for anybody who has maybe watched my masterclass? So if, by the way, if you're wondering what the heck we're all about, if you're an expert, so here's as simple as this. If you are an expert, you have some amazing knowledge in your mind. You're a coach of some kind. You've got an expertise. You've maybe written a book, but you don't have to have a book. I don't have a book. We make great money without a book. <laughs> You know, and, and huge impact without a book. But if you have some kind of expertise and you're looking to monetize it in a way that adds flow, that adds, that ha- helps you have a massive impact and influence the world. And if you want to make great money doing it so that you can do all the things that you want, because I believe that that our lives are meant to be lived on the intersection of purpose and abundance. I truly believe this. This is my purpose is to help be more people build houses on that intersection. That's my job. Yes. That's what I'm here for. So if that's what you do, then you need to watch my masterclass. I'll put a link somewhere around this video. And once you do that, if you want to talk or if you get a sense of what we do and you just want to get on an epiphany call and get that clarity for yourself and have your life light up perhaps as the way Stevens has, um, then I'll put that link. It's impactwithinfluence.com forward slash epiphany, which no one can spell EPI. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous. Don't do what I do. Next time, just write apply. <laughs> We're going to change that. But anyway, impactwithinfluence.com forward slash EPI, P-H-A-N-Y, epiphany. And the link will be around here somewhere. What, what, what advice would you give to somebody who's sitting there thinking, do I really want to click this? Do I want to talk yeah. to this woman? I don't know. Yeah. I dare you not to do it. I dare you not to do it. You're going to miss something that you probably never even realized that you were capable of. Simple as that. There's, it's things are going to come out of you that you thought only other people do that. And I'm, I'm an accomplished guy. I'm not, I'm not, you know, a high school dropout or anything, but you know, I'm an accomplished guy. So there's things that's, that's going to happen to you. It, I dare you not to do it. I dare you to go to bed tonight and not click. Thanks, good, Steve. good luck trying to sleep. Good luck trying to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. I am looking forward to you breaking that 100K. It's happening, yes. baby. It's happening. Yes, it is. And everything it that's going to come after, everything that's already coming. It's just, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Actually, actually, I said 80 and you said, just go for 100. Remember that? I and do. in our call, I said 80 and you're like, just go for 100. I'm like, really? Round like, oh, numbers. Okay. You know. yeah, yeah, like round the 20K. Round number. Yeah, and I'm doing it. So, hell yeah. Thanks, Gita. Awesome. A million thanks. Yeah, sure.